Hi, welcome back to the beginner series for Kali Linux. Today, we're going to examine network communications. I'm going to break this down into three parts. So we'll have part one, part two, and part three. The first part is navigating your IP address. So navigating around your computer, finding out what your IP address is. So to do this, we're gonna open up a terminal and we do not need to be root or a super user to do these exercises right here for ifconfig. So type ifconfig, it comes up without a problem. Now up here, try to avoid uh, reading the command if you can, like what is your IP address? I did put the command there so that you can follow that. And for each exercise, if you're supposed to be root or an admin user, then I presume that you'll go ahead and switch over as root or an admin user. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask me, but you'll probably see it in the video and you can do it the way I'm doing it. The next is ping another student's IP with an address with three packets. So the IP address of some student's PC. In this case, I'm just going to be using my default gateway. So I'm gonna ping 192.168.1.1. That's my default gateway. And that's only because I don't have someone else with me here uh, so that I can ping their IP address. I don't know the other student's IP, so I'm going to go ahead and ping that. And I think it said actually ping it with three packets. Oops, ping with three packets. Yep, so I missed that one. Let me go up right here and ping dash C3 that address. So you can see three packets come across. Now I can do dash C3 at the end with a space in it, or I can put no space. It doesn't matter. But that C3 says count three, so count three packets, and it does. It counts out three packets. And uh, it says ping another student's IP address indefinitely. So if I wanna go over here, I can ping an IP address and press enter, and it will not stop. We are now at about 10 packets, so I'll cancel. And we can see that I pinged, I sent 10 packets across. It will not stop, it will keep running. Now let's go ahead and change our IP address to the 101010 10 network. Now, currently I'm on the 192.168.1 network, but I'm gonna switch over to the 101010 10 network. So the way I'm gonna do that is I have config E0 10.10.10.109. It asked me to use the same address and the last octet that I have for my computer. So I need to use the same last octet. Now this right here is not gonna work for me. So when I press enter, you can see that operation not permitted. That means I do need to be root now. Pretty much everything else we're gonna need to do, we will need to be a super user or we will need to be root. Uh, if you're using Kali Linux, you're already root, so everything does have that hash mark in front of it. You'll notice that I have a dollar sign in front of mine, so I am just a regular user. So who am I? Just me. So I'm gonna type sudo s, and now I have a root shell. So who am I? I'm now my super user. I'm gonna type the same command again. The way I'm gonna do that is just highlight and middle click. Now when I did that, I have config, I can look at this and I'm now on the 10, 10, 10 network. Next step is what's my IP address? Uh, we just did that. And then ping another student's IP. I don't know with five packets. I don't know what another student's IP is, but we can try it. Dash C5, 10.10.10.23. Okay, well they're not out there. So uh, whatever the other student's IP is, or whatever somebody else's IP is, then maybe we can ping them. Uh, you can ping them in your lab or you can ping them at home or whatever. But right now, I don't know anybody else in the 1010 network. And the only way for me to find out would be go through and, and actually scan the network to see if anyone else is actually there. If I scan the network like this, this is telling it do not resolve names, do a scan type ping do the network range, and T5 is do it insane. Go nuts with it, really scan. Alrighty, so we got, oh, 111, well, we can try that. 
I'll try ping 111, see if it's up. There we go. Uh, I found an IP address out there, 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1, and we were able to ping them. So we did that exercise. Now I want to switch my IP back over to the real network, the 192.168.1.0 network. So the way I'm going to do that is first I'm going to bring my interface down. Now you don't always have to bring your interface down, but I'm going to bring my interface down. And then I'm going to type DH client ETH0. You might notice on the screen it says I'm disconnected and now I'm connected. Alrighty, let's check our IP address, ifconfig, and there it is. I'm back over to the 192.168.1 network, and my IP address is back to 109. So that is it for part one. Part two is going to start monitoring exercises.